Hi, welcome to the 2013 Male Abuse Awareness Week, December 1st through 8th annual video. This year we're going to do something a little different. In addition to the beautiful ladies giving inspirational words to young men who have been abused as children to get into therapy and break the silence, we're going to have footage from our big red carpet event we did on December 1st of 2012 along with some great words from our keynote speaker last year. So if this video in any way inspires you to give to the great cause of young men and boys who have been abused and helping them, you can give to the P. Luna Foundation at helpforguys.org. That's H-E-L-P, the number four, guys, G-U-I-S, dot org. Thank you and enjoy the video. Him to go to therapy? Yes, I would because I think it would be very beneficial to him. 
If he told you he was sexually abused, would you still date him, or would that deter you from getting to getting to know him more? If he was willing to go to therapy and try and get over the issues that were in his past, then I would still be with him. So ladies and gentlemen, here I am on the stage of Smooth Sounds Multimedia Studios, and I'm with a killer band that just gave us a wild, fun, and riveting performance, L.A. Velvet. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having us. Uh -huh, I am Laura V. Laura V. How are you guys? All right. And I'm you? doing great. A little sweaty. But a little sweaty. Yeah, I'm Ryan, the drummer. Yeah, you were banging it out back there, hey, man. Thank you. You didn't leave no room for nobody else. You <laughs> had to shut it down. Yeah, we like to play it hard, you know? I know, that's right. So how, how was this event for you guys? It was beautiful. I mean, I'm very thankful Barbara invited us, and we're doing this for a good cause. Uh, we dedicate our time to it, and uh, you know, every all the money we're making in merchandise going to the cost because it's really important to support and uh, you know support children abuse and men abuse. I think it's a very unique cause, and I never heard about it, so I think it's great, and I'm I'm up to it. I just, yeah. that's why I give everything to the audience. That's it was amazing. a great show. Wonderful, you did. You sure did. You didn't. You didn't. You, you sure you didn't drop anything. You didn't leave anything. <laughs> you didn't take anything with you. My you soul and my oh, heart. You know, your soul, your heart. I gave my heart. Yes. Yeah, so. Do you think it's unattractive if a man tells you he was abused and he wants to go to therapy? Do you think do you think that makes him weak? What does that represent to you? I think he's just more honest. And uh, it's attractive because he's actually trying to be more, um, I guess he's not stubborn to say that he needs help kind of thing because it's a lot of pride because I have that too. But uh, it's like asking for directions. You want your guy to, to not be prideful in a way. But you don't want to encourage him to go to therapy, or you do? I would. I would encourage him. And if he has, like, a community of other people that are going through the same thing and willing to take advice, that, that's attractive. And you? What do you think, dear? I think that communication is very important. So the more communicated they are or um, the more honest they are, it kind of shows um, some kind of sense of bonding. Because it's not just to men that get abused, but maybe, you know, they can communicate with other people and, like, bond with other people that have gone through similar experience, so that it's more of, like, they're not alone, so they don't have to feel like they're alone. Now, if a man told you he was sexually abused, would you still date him? That's his past. I have nothing to do with his past. If anything, I have to do with the present and the future, so it really doesn't matter. Unless, like, um, you know, if, if it really affects them to such a great extent, I would try to help them by saying go to therapy so that at least you don't have to keep thinking about your past or let it affect your present life.